Is it official? Bye bye, Hemi V8. It's looking more like it. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I got some new spy photos today from a spy popular who took these photos and sent me information that talks about the engine change under the hood. I got some details on that. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the spy photographer's photos. We'll put my watermark on top of it as per my agreement with the spy photographer. If you don't know, we've done this for years, and spy photographer sends me images with a request. I put a brand on the logo. So that's how this stuff works. So I buy them from, them, from him. I provide them to you for your information, and we all learn more about upcoming trucks. So we're going to go ahead and get to this, uh, dig right in, but I want to see that one and then this one boom so this is the interior spy photographer he, the spy photo he was able to find and what he's saying here is it's basically unchanged inside remains virtually unchanged albeit there's a few new knobs toggle switches located directly beneath the center stack so he's saying okay that is a little bit center stack that's a little center stack so let's uh, let's go through the other photos here too so as i open this up and so he's also saying looking at the shots this is this is a 2025 ram slt 1500 it was testing in colorado and they can see the ram 1500 will get revised looks at the front and the rear so the front and rear is going to be changed the cabs probably going to stay the same it's been that way for a while uh, the 1500 receives new headlights re revised grill a new lower front bumper around the back and apparently we're going to go kind of go around the back oh it's got some tow mirrors on it as well we can see the sides we can see the cabin is basically unchanged the uh when you look at the camouflage which is the squirrely lines in the back those are basically hiding things that Ram's not ready to reveal yet. So come around here, we can see big changes in the rear. What's going on back here? We can see this really elongated tailpipe too, which tells me they're just they're just doing some testing. But spy director, the spy photo says um, the rear will expect to adopt a revised tailgate, bumper, and new tail lights in the new 2025 Ram 1500. So looks like nothing there has changed as far as that goes. So there is your exterior. We can see the same cabin, the same rear window, the same shark fin on top, some tow mirrors on this one. We can see, again, it could be, maybe they'll do the step bumper like GM and Ford have now adopted. Um, the GM started and Ford adopted, or they could do the same 60-40 split tailgate that's been fairly popular. Um, it's hard to tell from these spy fog for photos just because of the way the camel wrapping is. And it hasn't been uh, nailed yet. And looking on the sides, we can see maybe Maybe something on the front corner there, um, front fender, they're doing camouflage there. So maybe that's hiding the engine. So a lot of times they put a little engine logo on there, which we'll get to that in a minute. What's more about the engine? And then we can see how the front air dam and set revised grill. So looks like the, like I said, the interior looks like it's basically the same. I don't see any changes with the cab. The cab looks the same size and it's, it's been a good size cab. Um, I know people are talking about the heavy duties and want a big new cab for that, but um, I think at the 1500, I think we're okay with that. The, you can see the screen's the same. Probably the latest Uconnect system will be in this vehicle as well. And so that's what we're going to have with the Ram 1500. Now, since you guys are probably like, Tim, get to the big news underneath the hood. Well, I talked about this a while ago when they released the Hurricane 3.0 liter specs, saying it's probably bye bye Hemi because the three liter inline six engine produces more horsepower and torque than the Hemi V8 and probably produces less emissions per CO2 per mile. I know there's a lot of argument in this channel about CO2 and whether it's emissions related and all this kind of stuff going on. Uh, that's understandable. Uh, have that debate. But automakers are being judged by the CO2 output per vehicle, and that's the metric they're at. And so that's what they're focusing on. So he's saying that some trims of the Ram 1500 are expected to derive their power from a twin turbocharged 3-liter Hurricane high-output inline-6 engine, while other engine options are currently unknown. Incorporating the engine start-stop technology, which we've had for a long, long time, auto start-stop, uh into that twin turbo three liter hurricane inline six engine that, that, that's been like the way the industry's going we had uh toyota got rid of the v8 completely a couple years ago they've gone 3.5 high output engines the 3.5 uh, uh, hybrid and non-hybrid engines the hurricane is actually a hybrid capable engine as well it could be electrified too um so he said notably the 2024 model year will mark the conclusion of the hemi's engines availability in the ram 1500 period so he's saying that sources are telling him the 2024 model year is it for the Hemi. They, they killed the Eco Diesel last year. They're going to probably kill the Hemi this year and coming a whole new powertrain next year. The Hurricane high output engine bo boasts an impressive output of 510 horsepower and 500 foot pounds of torque. That's surpassing the Hemi 5.7 liter Hemi V8 by 115 horsepower and 90 foot pounds of torque. The Hurricane high output will be paired with the same eight speed automatic H 
8 HP 75. It's a ZF transmission, the same 8-speed automatic transmission found in the current Hemi models. They anticipate an official debut of the 2025 Ram 1500 to take place by early 2024, which is what we've heard from new Ram CEO Tim Kaniskas, who said that the new 20, 2500 Ram 1500 will be debuting next year. So what what else we could see, not so much from the spy photos, but what else we could see on this truck? So I think we're going to see the, the Hurricane engine making its uh, debut. Uh, there are two variants of Hurricane engine. It's actually in the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. There's one like a high output and one non high output. So I could see a fleet truck with their M1500 having the non high high output and like higher trimmed or higher performance vehicles. Like, for example, the Ram TRX would have a high output version. While I did a video, the Ram TRX is dead. I still believe that the Ram TRX is dead. The 6.2 liter V8 was just supercharged, was just the heart of that beast. And even though the high output V6, uh, high output inline six will have more horsepower and torque um, than the regular V8, it's still short of the supercharged engine. And as Raptor fans have known that the high output 3.5 liter just doesn't sound the same. And that's why the Raptor R exists, which is their high, which is their supercharged 6.2 liter. So I, I think that the TRX maybe hangs around, but to me it's dead because the supercharged is where it's at. Um, but I, I'm going to say that the Ram is going to be two versions of the Hurricane, a non-high output, a regular high output. Um, I think we're going to see even more trim levels as far as higher trim levels. Um, it's funny, um, a lot of people on this channel, uh, I guess it's funny to me in a way it's, it's sad out on high, how high truck prices have gone. Um, I think what we're going to see is we're going to see even a higher trim level because we keep having these automakers keep building even more expensive half tons. And frankly, people keep buying them. So until people stop buying them, they're going to keep building them. So I think we're going to see, uh, was it a Ram Laramie limited longhorn <laughs> special edition, whatever. <clears throat> we're going to see a whole lot of more special editions that are going to have the high output, more standard features. We're going to see that, that stuff. What, I, what I'm surprised with, with the Ram news is I'm surprised they're not talking about some sort of self-driving technology. So we have Ford Blue Cruise. We have GMC Super Cruise. We're not hearing that at all from Ram or Slantis brand at all. I am a little surprised we're not going to find like a 4 by e version of this. Jeep is doing a lot of four by e, which is a plug-in hybrid version of a full size of a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, you lose some payload, you lose some towing capability, but you gain some full electric range because the battery's heavy and the engine's heavy, and you do increase your price point by quite a bit. But I know a lot of people on this channel have talked about wanting a plug-in hybrid version of the Ram 1500 or a plug-in hybrid version of any truck to have that electric range and to have that um, towing and or to have that uh, gasoline engine too, so a full-time electric. Which I could see that coming. Um, it, it could be something incorporated in the future. But yes, the news as is today, not just from me, but a spy photographer as well confirming that the Ram 1500 is probably dead at 2024. And the high output Hurricane engine will be your engine choice. So yet another V8 that could go bye-bye. Thanks to emissions and thanks to what's going on in the world as of today. So here comes down below. I um, I think I know what they're going to be like. <laughs> Also, check out the videos over here, website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.